Did you see that black woman talking about white people the other day? <laughs> she's, she's, Could you be a little more specific, I, I, please? I know. I just realized when I said it. She's talking about how white people need to fix their their people. And, you know, because whenever white people come up to her and say, like, oh, look, I'm white and I don't trust white people. Uh, she goes to them and goes, well, you're part of the problem. Fix it. Fix it. And I'm like, this is some of the biggest examples of projection I've, I've ever seen in my yeah, life. Yeah. And she's, you know, also. And then uh, uh, we, we see yesterday, uh, Garrett pops it up. She's on the beach frolicking with her boyfriend. Who is what? Boy yeah, there you go. Yeah. Her white boyfriend. So Civil rights hypocrisy. activists in the streets. Yep. Colonizer in the sheets. Here she is. Part of those said white people, so do something about it. The fuck? The fuck? Also, I hate when white people try to validate me. Like, they're literally like, I'm white, but I agree. Bro, no one does. I don't know if you noticed, but I don't need validation from white people. Uh, like that's the last thing I need. She's talking life. so like, I feel white. Like white people yeah. always try, oh, yeah. but they miss. Like, and I feel bad for y'all. Not that bad though, because your ancestors suck and you're stinky and evil. Stinky. But bad enough. I want to check out where I Penn call Station. You out and tell you not to leave comments like this because it's crusty. Anyways, for all the bleach demons willing to learn. Bleach demons. I see you're not as bad as the rest. Okay, I, I don't want to disparage my daughter, but that accent is exactly my 16-year-old daughter. Yeah. It, in the it, suburbs of West. Yeah, that, there isn't a hint of black. If your eyes voice. were closed, you'd just be like, why is that white yeah. girl talking about how evil white girls are? Yeah, yeah. And let me tell you something. Her speaking like that, world by the balls. Yeah. She could walk into any place. From a McDonald's to fucking the Goldman high Sachs. offices at yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. It, it, it Guess who's the new CEO? There you go. I don't really get finance. We'll tell you. It doesn't it. matter. You sound great. You don't sound black. Here's a Chanel suit. You're yeah. good to go. Here you go. It, she has the world by the balls, and she's still playing victim. She still has, and then there she is. He's always her. the same guy, same too. Same dude. It's like AOC's boyfriend. Ugh. 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 Get some fake hair. Yeah. You think they went surfing? The whitest <laughs> thing. The last bastion of whiteness Look, is he's surfing. He's a hunk. He's oh, yeah, so yeah. pussy whipped by all this racial shit. Oh, he yeah. He goes out with a fucking black four just a well, virtue signal. <clears throat> don't you think there are white people like him that go, I'm going to go out. I'm going to be fucking awesome. Yeah, the his name's Bill get, Burr. <laughs> I I just saw a woman in Daily Mail. She's a doctor. Mm. Yeah, sure. this is competence crisis. Lord knows what fucking oh oh training she went through. I mentioned it on the show once, and I keep getting these emails from people in med school going, "Dude, you don't know how bad it is." Oh yeah, these physicians assistants like they're not getting the same training. I get the I get the emails from the airline industry. Yeah. and all that. From yeah. people going, dude, you don't know who's coming in as engineering uh, heads, the heads of engineer. Go, it, this is scary. He's like, I'm driving. Yeah, I'm driving. driving from now on. <laughs> Bye, Europe. I'll never see you again unless <laughs> we get a on ship. a cruise. Yeah. Yeah. A fucking ship. <laughs> I'd rather face tsunamis <laughs> yeah, than no fucking than Laquisha's North Atlantic on a moonless night. <laughs> 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 but. Uh, yeah, they, they, there was just a woman who died of a blood clot because she went to a physician's assistance because there's no more doctor's offices. They're all PAs. Right. And they go, I guess you have anxiety or something? And she goes, okay, no. it feels real bad. She's dead. But anyway, this she did have anxiety that she had a blood clot. <laughs> yeah, you're very anxious. You're probably freaking out because you're dying. <laughs> She, this woman, so she said an opera, this is her story. She's on the operating table and this black teenager dies. And then all the white surgeons start laughing. Uh-oh. As one does. Of course. When a black person dies. Ha, 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 ha. All the doctors. Peace do. out, charcoal. <laughs> what are we going to do with these organs? Throw them in the garbage? <laughs> is there a sick monkey somewhere I can give this liver to? ha, 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 ha. Oh Throwing my their, God. their cowboy hats across the room. Yeehaw! Another one bites the dust, boys! <laughs> so her suggestion is oh. that all surgeons have to wear body cams. 
So you can hear their racism. Like the police, of course. Yes. You can hear their racism. And it's only accessible to the family. But if the family wants to press charges for racism, they can release the tapes to the public. Can you imagine? What are you talking about? Are you out of your fucking mind? Do you just want the surgeon to be relaxed and smart and knowledgeable and... and uh, 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 trained. I don't want anything else on your mind. No. If some artery for some reason starts going, yeah, yeah. I don't want you thinking, how is this going to be perceived? Right, right. I want you clamping it, stitching it up. Exactly. I don't know, putting a stint in there. I don't know what Whatever you do with whatever you got to do. Arteries, but fix not it. like, uh oh, I I know this would work, but it's not quite it's look back. What the book says, <laughs> so I'm not going to do it. <clears throat> yeah, privately fuck that. take your risks, please. Yeah, yeah. But so then they show her and her husband, and he's got a big, huge Black Lives Matter sign on. Of course, he's got a COVID mask, oh. and there he is. Oh my God! Activist in the streets, colonizer in the sheets. Stop killing black people. What? Isn't she lighter than him? Yeah, she looks like a fucking albino. Yeah, she doesn't even dismantle look. white supremacy. Black hair, kind of, if that's even her hair. Can you imagine having a fucking beer with that guy? Oh, oh, oh would I have to oh. my language? Imagine him defending Biden. Dismantle white supremacy. Hasn't it been dismantled? Like I said I, a million times, we I got a motto: president. mantle white supremacy. Mantle it, mantle yeah. it. <laughs> I don't dismantle. I want it mantled. <laughs> You're right. Mantle that shit. At least a little bit. Yeah. Just Holy shit. Mantle a morsel. A systemically racist. You get some of these. White supremacist country would never elect a black president. Uh, it's oh. just the way that it's is that it? simple. It's a, I guess, apartheid South Africa, but yeah. I don't even like that analogy because they took a shithole. In fact, they've done it again with that or Orania, Orania uh, in South Africa. They take a total abandoned, considered an empty warehouse, yeah, and they go, I'm gonna take these tumbleweeds, irrigate it, and make a little society. And it, again, it wasn't just whites. They didn't like Greeks, Spaniards, Italians. Right, yeah. It was Boers. Boers, yeah. When they said whites, they meant Boers. Were they Danish? Yeah. Yeah. So they don't want, like, fucking Ita greasy Italians down there. They don't want you there. They don't want us in many places. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want them in their in their daughter's bedroom. <laughs> so uh, I don't know if I would really count that as white supremacy. It was Boer supremacy. Yeah. And you didn't go in and, like, colonize some successful Kenyan neighborhood. There you go, yeah. Murder yeah. everyone yeah. and then take their farms, which the blacks did to the Rhodesian yep. farmers, right? Yep. And then said, this is mine now. I am going to take it over. Yeah. They didn't do that. They they built a little thing in they a It's something out of nothing. And then blacks were like, what are you doing over there? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Right, that was we Jamaican. want that. that Jamaican. I want to be in there. Yeah. We want to be in there. Okay. They always want to be amongst the worst racist horrible people. Yeah. Like just leave them alone. Let them let them let these racists destroy themselves in their own communities or countries yeah. or whatever. Why would you want to go in there and be amongst these terrible terrible people? It's like Palestinians with Israel. Like why is there a wall there? Why do you care? Yeah. Why do you care if your neighbor has deadbolts? You don't want to be like, in there. Like like uh, Mexican immigrants, where they go, why is there a wall? You're building a wall. I'm like, why do you care? Yeah. You start your country, do your shit. Why are you mad that you can't get into my country? Yeah. Yeah, you shouldn't be mad at that. And you're beeswax. You should be mad you're trying to get in, which we are. Yeah. But, like, you shouldn't be mad about that. Dude, they're fucking brutal with their illegals. They, they go, what are you going to do with the Mexicans? Put them in a bus, round them up, and take them home? Round That's them what up. Mexico does. Yeah. They round up the Nicaraguans and Guatemalans. They throw them on a bus. Yeah. They drive them back to the border, and they go, fuck off. Yeah, I don't know if people know, but there is a southern border of Mexico. Yes. And there are people trying that uh, from countries worse than Mexico, right. believe it or not, trying to get into Mexico. How do you think they react to it? You basically have to go to the very, very bottom of the shit list to find yeah. a country that's not guarding its borders. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if there is one. And we just... Imagine if the security on the southern border was as amazing as the security on the northern border is. Like, like you can't just get a, a bunch of people running across the border into Canada or right. out of Canada. Yeah. 
It just doesn't happen. And dude, it's so so levels. obviously the technology is there, the manpower is there to keep an entire border secure. It's not a new concept, right? But for some reason, oh, we just can't figure out that Mexican border, dude. This past year. With these Egyptians coming up through Mexico yeah, and yeah. Sri Lankans, Pakistanis, well, wouldn't you if Congolese you knew that's where the open door was? Oh, the door's locked. Oh, I'm not here. blaming them on the east coast and the west coast and the north. It's like, oh, there's an open door down there. Yeah, well, let's go that way. Yeah, hey, no, hey, Congolese. Yeah, I'd do the exact same thing if I was from a third world country yeah, like yours. World, yeah. <laughs> By all means, if there's money sitting on the floor, I'm not going to criticize anyone for picking it up. Yeah, sitting right there. It's right there for the good for the take. Who put the money on the floor? I'm mad about. Yeah, yeah. And this is like I've never heard anything like this past year. Like Eric Adams is building new facilities for all of these. I don't know. That's our Peruvian mayor here in New York City, by the way. Yes, Eric Adams. Yeah, they're they're in every hotel unless it's the you know the the Hilton or the upper end hotels in New York City. Every other hotel has uh, refugees in it. Right. Well, there illegal. was that one. I even say refugees. They're not refugees. They're, not refugees. They're illegal immigrants. I, I, I read recently 89% of refugees have been to visit their home country on vacation recently. Really? Yeah. I thought you were on the run. Wait, what do you, yeah. You, Weren't this, you scared of being spotted? If, if, if you're here for sanctuary, it means that you are, yeah, marked for death. Yeah. Like you, you have the threat of physical harm in your home country. Why would you go back? Did you pack Groucho Marx glasses when you went home and just none of these people. Did you have a trench coat on and a fedora? Yeah. 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 It, it's it's a it's the easiest lie to spot. I couldn't imagine believing it. And sh I, like I, I, and I, we're so divorced now. I don't really know any liberals anymore. Mm, yeah. I talk to like my brother whose friend knows some and stuff, I, I hear about them. They're like aliens. Yeah. And I'm like, surely now, when you see motherfucking Egyptians pouring through the Mexican border, surely that bothers you. I get, I don't agree with it, but I get the Mexican argument. No. They're poor. We need to bring up the Mexicans. Okay. Uh. So I don't agree, but I get your logic. They're yeah. from fucking Kuala Lumpur now. Yeah. The, I don't even know where that is. The other side of the earth. <laughs> For some reason, we're taking in people from the other side of the world. And liberals are still, though, like, no, you fucking racist. I fucking hate them. Hate you want to talk them. about prejudice and bigotry? Yeah, yeah. I fucking hate the left now. Like, every, every race or religion or sexuality that I am... Looked at like I hate people go, oh, you're this yeah. or that or the other thing. Uh, it doesn't top the liberal. It doesn't come close. To it. It's like a mob when the FBI has all the mob people. <laughs> like I'll have blacks yeah. and Jews and, and then there's gays. And stuff. But at the top is the white liberal. Yeah. The American white yes. liberals, the Don. And this chart, by the way, it doesn't really look that much like the, the typical mafia chart because it's like. <laughs> yeah. Then there's these long right. lines. Like, you can barely see <laughs> the liberal at the top. Right, right. Like, you got to put on binoculars to a, see him. You're like, that oh, that's the main, 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 oh. main, 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 main guy? Yeah. Wow, he sucks. But something tells me there's one more string of yarn, <laughs> and you know who that goes to. <laughs> I want to fucking shove an olive olive branch up my ass, get shit all over it, and be like in front of children. Front no of fucking way. Not Gavin. on my watch. <laughs> and then go to a liberal and be like, "Hey, man, let's let's let by." And then oh. just as he reaches for it, smear the shit in his eyes, right in his face. And all 